One question I get often is, why do some cameras have viewfinders and some don't? Some just have LCD screens. Well, the answer is, on the small compact cameras, the viewfinders, we weren't really viewfinders, we weren't really looking through the lens, it was really a range finder, and most people found them very small and hard to use, so most manufacturers these days have taken them off. Most people, in fact, are used to taking pictures this way, holding the camera out, there's the viewfinder in the back, it's a nice big LCD, really bright, works really well. But other people still like that ability to take a camera and put it right up to your eye and hold it here. There are a lot of advantages to both. In this camera here, it has both. It has both an LCD and a viewfinder. So if I want to hold it up to my eye and take a look at it, I can use my face as a tripod. It'll help me keep the camera steady. It gives me a shot that's totally uh, void of any other things. I can see exactly what's in the camera. So professionals really like to use the viewfinder and not the LCD. But if you're in a situation where, for example, you want to see your picture yourself and you want to take a picture of yourself, or you have the camera and you're, it's way up high and you want to look at it, um, this little viewfinder here can be tilted down so you can take a look at it. So it's a really good idea to have an LCD screen. A viewfinder is also a nice thing to have for a bigger camera. But in a small camera, most of the time the viewfinder doesn't really do much for you, so the LCD works the best. That's why you have some with it and some without. I hope this was helpful. If you want more information, don't hesitate to go to livinginhd.com, look at the answer man. Please don't hesitate to put comments on. I'd love to hear from you and I'll be happy to answer it in another episode. Thanks.